one thing lacking in the legislation is, is uh, what uh, Congressman Cardenas and I have been working on is the antimicrobial resistance issue, and i.e. the superbug concern, which is predominant in healthcare. I'm being told we're continuing to move towards consensus, but obviously not enough where it's included in this piece of legislation. So we hope that uh, we, can, we can do that. It, it, the very basic, simple presence, um, premise is that if we want to have uh, antimicrobial resistant drugs on the counter when we need it, we have to find a way to pay for it, hoping that we never use them. That's the basic premise. Or we use it in such a small uh, batch that you can't, there's not a return on investment of the, of the research. So that, and I'm, I'm proud to have uh, Congressman Cardin uh, join me in this, in this cause. I also would like to submit, for the record, some um, letters in support. I uh, have a letter to me and, and Congressman Cardenas uh, from the Infectious Diseases Society of America, dated June 29th. I have another one dated June 28th from the Antimicrobial Innovation Alliance. And the last one uh, addressed to you and the uh, ranking member, Congressman Pallone, from the Biotechnology Innovation Organization. And I hope we can encourage our staff to keep working so when this gets to the floor, this can be included. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank With you,